Well, hi there, everyone. From the Fox 13 Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Ilona McCauley. We're definitely getting a lot of reports of some snowflakes falling in parts of King and Snohomish County line. You can definitely see that convergence zone that we've been forecasting for the last several days coming together in parts of the North Sound. We're also getting reports of some snow falling as well right along I-90 in some of our foothill communities. This should taper off as we get into the evening hours, but then our attention turns to the very cold temperatures. If you're trying to get over the past, it has been very difficult, especially over Stevens Pass, where heavy snow and reduced visibilities are being reported. Chains are required over Snoqualmie Pass, as well as traction tires over White Pass. We still have a few winter weather threats to pass along. Winter weather advisory posted here in parts of the uh, western Cascades in areas of Stevens and Snoqualmie Pass, and then a winter storm warning just on the east side of the Cascades as we get into tomorrow morning. Temperatures are dropping very steadily. We're already Already in the 20s up in Bellingham, dropping into the 30s currently in Everett. That cold air will continue to sink down to the south. We're still sitting at 45 degrees here in parts of the Seattle metro locations. That Fraser River outflow is in full effect. We're going to continue to see those strong northerly winds gusting up to even close to 40 miles an hour near Bellingham. That, of course, is going to lower those wind chill values or that feels like temperature. So we've got that wind advisory posted as well as that wind chill uh, uh, advisory. You're going to feel at some points like it is in the single digits and then overnight tonight feeling like it is below zero. So bundle up and stay warm. Make sure you are protecting your plants, your pipes and your pets. This cold weather is going to stick around for several days.